In today's video, I want to show you how to make, use the new feature in Microsoft Excel 2013 that allows you to make a pivot table from more than one table. So let's go into Excel. Uh, now, notice on Sheet 1, I have information about the customers, uh, including the customer ID, and the name and address. And then if I go to Sheet 2, notice how we have information about the orders. Uh, including the order ID and the customer ID. And uh, over here, if I go to the right, I have the order amount. Now, in this case, the customer ID is on both tables. So when you're doing this, you have to have a, a field that is in common. That's going to be the key step. Uh, now, notice how sheet one is formatted as a table. All right. So if your data isn't a table, then you would pick on the home menu. Uh, you would select all of the data and then you would pick home and then you would say format as a table and then pick one of the formats. So um, Access will recognize that as a data set or as a table. Sheet 2 needs to also be a table and right now it is. So like I said, if your data uh, isn't uh, what, uh, what Excel calls a table, then you would select your data, you would pick on your home menu and then pick on format as a table and then pick one of the different styles. It's very important that in both um, in both sheets you have your field names as we do. We have our field names in both sheets. So now we're going to make a pivot table starting from, let's say, starting from the customers table. So notice how the customers table just has the customer information. I would really like to see uh, a total of how of you know each different order, how many orders each customer had. And, um, you know, what, what the sum is for each customer as well. But the information is on two different sheets. So let's see how we're going to make it work. Uh, I'm going to pick on one cell and I'll pick on the insert, uh, the insert menu to start the pivot table and I'll pick on pivot table. Now, in this case, it picked the proper range for us. Now, um, what you want to do is uh, you're going to put the result on a new worksheet and you want to pick where it says add this data to the data model. And I'll click on OK. Now, at this point, it's going to bring you to a different sheet. And this is where you would start to build your pivot table. Notice over here on the field list, it has the fields for the customer's table only. However, what you do is you pick on the word all. And now you're going to see I have fields from the customer side. And I have fields from the order side as well. So in this case, we're going to have the company name as the row header. And you can see each, each row became a different customer. Now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to scroll down and find the fields from the orders uh, uh, sheet. And I'd like to get the order amount. I'm going to move the order amount into the value section. Now when you first do it, notice how all the order amounts are the same number. Well, I want those to be individualized for each different customer. So notice what, what you're going to do here. Um, I picked a field from the first table and I pick a field from the second table. So it says relationships between the tables may, need, may be needed. I'm going to pick on create here. So in this case, the table that you want to pick at top is um, I'm going to pick actually the second sheet that has the orders. And I'll choose the common field of the customer ID. Now, the one that you want to pick at the bottom is actually the table in which that field is the primary key. Notice how um, specifically at the bottom it has the word primary key. So that, that really should be the sheet in which that field is the unique identifier or the primary key. And I'll click on OK. Now, Notice how the number is recalculated. So this is now truly the sum of each um, customer's orders. Uh, so I'll even pick a, another field now. I'll pick on uh, the second table. I would like to see how many cut, uh, orders that customer had. So I'll pick on order amount a second time and move it down to the values for us the field a second time. Now, I don't want two sums. That would be redundant. Uh, plus it'd be repetitious as well, right? Get it? But anyway, I'm going to click on that pull down where it says sum of order amount, you know, the second one. We'll go back to value field settings 
and this time we'll make it a count instead of a sum. So now what I have, I have the customer's name, I have the sum of the orders for that customer's and the count of the order for that customer as well. So this is an interesting example of how you can start making your pivot tables from more than one uh, sheet. It was very important that each sheet was formatted as a table. And then it was also important that the sheets had a, a common field. In this case, it was the customer ID field. And it's actually also important that in one of those tables, that, that customer ID or that common field is really the primary key. Uh, you can see they're all different here. And that's really how you can start to uh, make your pivot tables from more than one uh, table or more than one sheet in Microsoft Excel 2013.